There's some footage circulating online of a TikToker called Chelsea Lee Art getting arrested for sending some mean tweets about gay people. To be clear, I don't know who this Chelsea Lee Art woman is. From what I understand, she's a popular TikToker who engages in some obnoxious behaviour every now and again. Now, I don't know exactly what this lady has said, but what it interests me is this may be a sign of things to come in the future, where political opinion is actually stifled under the banner of social justice. This is something that ex-footballer turned anti-woke political commentator Joey Barton is also finding out he's up in Warrington Magistrates Court for tweets about black football player Eni Aluko. Now, I don't know exactly what Joey Barton has said, but I do know some of the things Eni Aluko has said before. 3% of the UK population are black, mm -hmm. and 8.1% of TV characters on screen are black. Is the assumption then that black people are just 2.5 times better? Maybe. Some black people are there, not necessarily because of talent, and the proof of that is the percentages, but some, unless black people are just better. But some some white people have been given opportunities without... 20, 30 years ago, I yes. I mean, let's talk about... Well, no, you, you can't say that. But I can because of the stats. No, maybe they're just bet the best. Now, do you think if Joey Barton went on a podcast and stated that white people are just the best, do you think that he would maintain his social media accounts? Do you think the police might knock on his door? I would strongly imagine that they would. However, this is exactly the problem with this modern woke culture. It only works one way, and it's clearly going to be used to stifle political opinion that the regime doesn't like. Now, it goes without saying that I'm not pro anybody being bullied for immutable characteristics, but that's not really what we're talking about. As Jordan Peterson once famously stated, if you're going to think seriously about the world, you have to risk being offensive. Yet with a woke culture already in place and a woke Labour Party at the helm now, you have to think this sort of thing is only going to get worse. There's a lot of narcissism in the woke movement and this is a prime opportunity for them to virtue signal. On top of that, across the Western world, I think many of the woke arguments are falling apart under the weight of populism and it's a prime opportunity to shut down their opposition. I think the free speech issue is a massive one in the Western world. It must be fought for very hard. If you lose that, they'll have total political control over the narrative. Of course, they'll say all their measures are about tolerance, inclusion and love, but what it's really about is suppressing any dissenting voices, whether they're malicious or not. On that note, you never quite know what YouTube is going to do either, so I have started a Rumble and a Twitter account. Do consider following me on there as well. Finally, do let me know your thoughts about all this down below, and if you're new, do consider subscribing to the channel.